and welcome to the second Intermediate Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to finish off our helicopter game, so this is a third part. Uh, if you missed the first two then check them out and get this, otherwise you won't be able to follow the tutorial. So now we're going to give um, the helicopter some obstacles, so we're going to draw them in paint. You can use whatever you want. Um, we're going to make it the height of the screen, but a bit longer, so it can uh, it so it's not always the same obstacles what will happen is this will move across the screen and the helicopter will dodge it just so it can have some more um more different obstacles so fill the back black and then you can just oh, just draw on your obstacles you can do whatever color you want as long as they're black not black i've just done some random little red dashes here just pause the video and draw your own obstacles for your helicopter to dodge and um, this is mine it's just a few little red dashes as you go along the screen um, and it needs to be in the same folder that the blitz file is saved in so now here we're going to load this in so here we'll have global foreground image um, and then we'll just do what we done the same here and we'll give it a x plus and y plus of zero so I've just done that here copy it down pause the video um, I'm just gonna move it up here to go with the background doesn't really matter I just like arranging it like that okay so in the draw images function we're gonna draw it needs to be um, behind well in front of the background it doesn't matter whether it goes in front or behind the helicopter because they will never touch unless they collide and then it'll be game over. So draw image. Foreground. So um foreground image and then I'll just do X plus and Y plus. And now we're gonna make it so the background or no the foreground sorry moves across the screen for your helicopter to dodge and I'm gonna make it so it moves down slightly as well as if it's falling. So we're not going to tile this because only the f image itself counts um, when we're testing if it collides with the helicopter and the other tiles of it will not be counted as colliding so we're going to draw this twice which we'll get onto later on for now we're just going to move it so it's always going to be moving um, the Xbox is going to come this way minus 10 and then it's going to go down by 3 so it's falling and there you have it, just pause it and copy it down and so now what we're going to do is if I run it should run oh. sorry um, it will come up with error messages if you've done something wrong here it's a prime example of an error I missed off the end quotations so it thinks that's still the name of the file there we go and now press on you'll see they fly across the screen but it'll get to a point and then it stops so we're gonna um, do what we did here for the background except with the foreground if for ground x plus is equal to 640 then We'll make it zero. Um, so you can change the speed of this. The only thing is, if you don't do it minus ten or five, it will never equal six forty, and so it'll never go back to the start. So sometimes it's better to do rather than is equal to is smaller than. So then, no matter how much you're moving it, um, it will always go to this. But I'm just going to do equals for now because I know it will equal it so we've done that and then we'll say because it's going down the y plus we'll say if foreground y plus is bigger than 480 then what we'll do is we'll draw it at minus 480 so it will go down here and then there'll be another that comes from the top if I run this now you'll see Uh, 
that was a problem. It's not 640, sorry. Um, that would be if it's 640 wide, it's not. If I just check image attributes, it's 1920, which is just three times that. Um, I extended the width. Um, so when it gets past here, it will. Um, oh, we'll change this to 640s then. When it gets past here, the end of it, it gets drawn here and comes back across because it just suddenly appeared at zero again. So now I'll try again. Yep, now it's got through here and then it appears again here. Um, now, uh, this is fine, but I did there's a way you can make it so that it constantly comes so that you draw another one um, so you copy and paste the draw image line but instead of um, heli x plus it's heli x plus plus 640 um, you can try that if you want and then later on in the um, colliding when I show you how to work out the colliding you'll do two collision lines so that if it collides with this image or the same image but 640 onwards oh, or 1920 onwards sorry if you don't understand any of that, it doesn't matter. Just copy what down what I've got down here, and now we'll just make it so you can lose. So we'll make a function at the bottom called f collision. And here we'll go to the function f collision. Now we're going to do the if statement so if images collide it's all one word there's another command called if images overlap well images overlap but that counts um, the images all of the image images collide is only the non transparent parts otherwise if you do overlap then it'll count the whole square image which doesn't actually check if it collides with the actual helicopter itself mm. So now all you do is, if you press F1 like I showed you before, it tells you, so image 1, X1, frame 1 is for, if we have an animated image, we're not doing that, so you put 0. So you can just copy and paste it from up here. 0, then we'll foreground, comma 0. Then we're going to say, then the stage equals 3 as we've got here. Now finally case 3. We still want to draw the images so you can see how you lost but we're going to say text and now if we just copy this so it'll be centered in the middle of the screen so we'll just say you lost or whatever you want then press escape to exit. So you can change this so it can loop back to start if you want but this is fine so now I'll show you the final program um, on mine you can move left and right you don't have to have it that way and you can change images and everything but let's have a go at my game press enter oh doesn't seem to oh here we go so oh no I hit here and I'll press exit to escape well, press escape to exit. Alright, so there you go. Flying helicopter game. In later tutorials, um, I'll be showing you how you make it so the helicopter's animated and how you use better physics so it, rather than just going up and down, um, it sort of slows down at the top and has more smooth motion. That's it for this tutorial, second intermediate one. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you another graphics game. So I hope this worked and I hope you enjoyed making this game and working on it you can try adding on to it making a timer so you see how long you can last uh, you should be able to figure out a few things so thank you for watching